Hey designer, Alex here, welcome to the channel and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to use Adobe XD to create these animated gradients using Lodi files, all of it in a single artboard. So let's get started. Alright, so here is a practice file for today and you can download it for free, link is going to be down in the description below. While you're there in the description, make sure to check out my membership. Link is also going to be down in the description below. Membership includes all of my courses, digital design products, private access to the Facebook group and so much more. So if you're interested in content like that, make sure to check it out. Once again, links are going to be down in the description below. In terms of the practice files, you can see all of the colors which I used right here. We have some main colors and we have some gradients on top. Also, character styles, I just use Poppins for the text right here. Poppins is a free font for both Google fonts and Adobe fonts, so make sure to check it out if you don't have it. And finally, I have just some components right here, which are just placeholder components, because as I mentioned, you can see that we just have one single artboard, and this entire effect can be done on one single artboard. So let me walk you through the structure of this file, and as I said, you can download it to follow along. So here we have the content, so we have image placeholder and we have the image outline. We have these two texts, below that we have email, password and button. Email and password have just uh, text, BG for the background and the icon and button has just the text and the background for the icon. And finally here we have the outline and the outline is, if I scroll right here, uh, it just is a background. So you can see it completely fills the outline of the screen and it just has the background blur applied with these effects. That's just so if I hide it, we are not able to see these blobs in the background. And speaking about blobs, let me hide all of this content because the blobs are what we are going to be focusing on. So you can see I have three different blobs and for each of these blobs, there is a corresponding um, gradient right here. So this one is for the blob number one, this one is for the blob number two, and this one is for the blob number three. And if you want to create these blobs completely for free, all you need to do is to download this plugin called Blobular, here it is right here, and to download it simply click right here, search for it and then open it up and this is what you're going to get. I spoke about this plugin already on my channel, but nevertheless I'm going to quickly show you how it works. So here you can adjust the complexity and down below you can see how it changes and updates whatever you release your mouse and here is the uniqueness, so you can do whatever you want, basically you can just, let's say I use this one click create blob, it's going to place it down and I can hold my shift and alt key and scale it down a little bit and if you want to apply any one of these gradients simply go back to here, click on it and it's going to apply that gradient. If you want to tweak it, click on it and then you can even rotate it if you want to, replace these colors, you can change these stops, you can do with this whatever you want. So let me go back to my layers panel, get rid of this uh, blob. So as I said, that's blobular. And one other thing which I've done, if I take you back right here, you can see it says right here heart icon, which is a free Loti icon. So once again, go back to the plugins and open up the Loti files plugin. Once again, you can get it if you click right here. When you are inside Loti files, make sure to create a free account and search for heart icon or heart or something like that. And here you have all of these free icons. And I took, I think this one was it, or this one, it doesn't really matter because the icon itself is hidden as you can see right here. So in order for us to create that effect, what we have to do is to use these, so all these blobs and this heart and to create a component. But before I go any further, I just want to show you that each blob has this effect applied, which is the object blur and the value is 15, it's blur amount. And you can set this up between background blur and object blur right here. So as I said, all of the blobs have object blur applied and you can see if I select, for example, blob number two, it has 15 and blob number three has 15. So all of them have same values. So Make sure to group your blobs, you can um, use as many blobs as you want or you can just use one, you can use, I don't know, three or four or 15, it doesn't really matter, it's all up to you how much of an effect you want to get. Make sure to group them as well as your Lottie icon. You can use your Lottie all the way in the background, as I said, just lower down the opacity, 
put all of it in a folder, hit controller command K to turn this into a component and then go ahead and create a new state. And I'm going to call this one, for example, position one. Inside of the position one, I'm going to double click and move this here, move this here, move this here and rotate each of them to right hand side. This is really important because you want to keep your rotations uniform. And let's rotate it, for example, something like that. And then from here, make sure to create a second state. I'm going to call it position two. And inside of the position two, I'm going to move this up, rotate it to the right once again, move this down, rotate it to the right and make sure to pay attention that I don't uh, make any sort of changes to the Lottie icon. As I said, it's just a placeholder. Make a new com uh, component state, position three. And what I want to do is basically come to my starting point. So I'm going to move this up, something like that. Move this in the center, make sure to rotate it all the way to here. Maybe move this right here, rotate it to something like this. And there you go. Because if I take you to the first position, you can see this one is at the top. This one is at the center. This one is at the bottom. And if I switch it right here, this one is going to go right here, this one is going to go right here, and this one is going to go right here, back to the first position. I'm going to move it just slightly up. And as I said, you can spend as much time as you want playing around with these. So now finally go back to the default state, switch to the prototype mode, and all you need to do inside of the prototype mode is select your heart icon, click on it, make sure to apply the time trigger first, then click this plus uh, icon in the center, and instead of the tab, make sure to select end of playback. Inside of the end of playback, instead of type Loti playback, come right here where it says auto animate. And you can choose, for example, easy in out and something long like three seconds maybe. And for the state, make sure to choose the position one. Close it, go back to the position one, select your heart icon once again and do the same thing. So click, instead of end of playback, use the time trigger, click on the plus, Instead of tap, use end of playback. Instead of Lodi, make sure to use auto animate, ease in, out, three seconds right here. Choose a state, position two. And then do the same once again right here. And all you need to do right here is to follow exactly the same steps, but the last one. And I'm going to come to it in just a second because the last one is going to take you back to the first one and you want to make sure that you are as smooth as possible with it. And I'm going to show you what the issue is. So position three. And finally, let's go to the position three. Use the heart icon. Once again, use the time right here. Click on the plus. Instead of tap, use end of playback. Use auto animate right here is in out and here I'm going to use five seconds. And why is that? Well, because it's going to jump back to the default state and I want to make sure that it is going to actually move to the default state as smoothly as possible. As far as I know, you cannot go any higher than this. Yep. So five seconds is your top. So make sure to use it to your advantage. So go back to the default state, make sure to bring all of these layers back and let's fire it up and see what we've done. So you can see background gradients are going to start moving and they're going to start moving once again, going back to the third state. And finally, this is going to be our last one. And you can see why it was longer because it's going to go back to its first and original state and then move to other state. You can use five here because it's the longest one, as I said, but I found that three and then five for the last one works just fine. So that's it for today's tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like this video so others can find it and make sure to subscribe to the channel because I upload brand new content every single week all about Adobe XD, UI UX design, passive income techniques and so much more. So if you're interested, make sure to check it out. And once again, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, take care.